start with what? My okay, name is Eric Nunez. <clears throat> My name is Eric Nunez, and I believe in storytelling. I'm originally from South Central California, and I moved to New York City two years ago to pursue my master's in social work at Columbia School of Social Work. Okay, and what was what part of Los Angeles are you from? You said Compton? You said South, South Central. Central. Oh, you said South Central. Growing up in South Central was very interesting. Uh, I'm Puerto Rican and Black, so I got a lot of backlash for being biracial. Uh, and growing up in South Central, you know, it considered being the hood. Not only did I have to learn how to protect myself, but I learned the struggle of living in a low economic status community. Why is it important for someone to know your story? Um, I think it's important for someone to know my story because I feel like there's someone out there that can relate to my story and them knowing that I overcame a lot of struggles within my life can help them within their lives. Talk about your grandmother. Um, so I was originally raised by my grandmother. Uh, my mother dealt with a drug addiction for a very long time. Um, and my grandmother was my support system, my biggest cheerleader. She's the reason why I am the man I am today, and she's the reason why I'm overcame a lot of hurdles within my life. So, my, during the time that I was applying to um, graduate school, um, I was still an undergrad, and my uh, grandmother was getting really sick at the time. And I told my grandma, like, Grandma, you know, I'm going to apply to school in New York, and I'm going to get my master's. And during this time, you know, she was really sick, so she told me that she didn't want me to leave her, uh, leave California. The only way that I could leave um, Los Angeles was if she passed away. My grandma passed away on Christmas Eve, and um, the day of her funeral, I actually submitted my application to Columbia, and I got accepted. Whatever. So it was like it was like her gateway of letting me know that it was meant to be. Hi. I do this shit all the time. <laughs> At a very young age, um, I discovered that I was gay. Wait, not was. Okay, go. At a very young age, I discovered that I am gay. Um, and it was difficult. Um, growing up, I really didn't know what the term gay meant. I knew that I was different uh, from the other boys within the neighborhood. So I didn't come out to my family until I was 18 years old. And it was really difficult. You know, growing up in a Hispanic household and uh, being biracial, I didn't feel accepted from my Hispanic side or my black side. So I really didn't have a community where I was able to uh, feel accepted from or like be myself. I think it's important for me as a gay man of color to talk about issues within the LGBT community because I don't think the black community understands the type of issues that the community is going through. Since 2015 alone, eight transgender women have been murdered. And I don't think the black community understands that they are part of the black community and this is hurting our black community. Our brothers and sisters are being victimized by police, uh, hate crimes, uh, victims of sexual assault. With many years working with LGBTQ youth, I find it heartbreaking that these people are going through this, going through these issues on their own, when they don't have um, a community behind them, especially the black community that they identify as people of color. 